they're really bat battling with those January blues, people. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. So we all have, we, not all of us, but I think the majority of us always feel that uh, low bit after Christmas and New Year and it's all done and you've got to take the decorations down and you've spent too much money, you've eaten too much, you've drank too much. Um, you got to go back to work. You've probably been ill. Um, so, yeah, it can be a really rubbish time. And actually, in January, I think they have um, one of the most depressing days of the year, which is usually kind of, I think, 25th or 24th of January or something. We're not quite there yet, but um, it's really, really can be a very hard month for many, many people, especially if you have mental illness, especially if you suffer from depression, anxiety, um can be really hard to cope with the January blues and I'm yeah I'm I'm not doing too bad I've had a lot worse Januaries than this but we're only we're only like seven days in so <laughs> still got a way to go but yeah I'm 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 really blue Christmas went way too quickly and I had such a lovely time and uh, yeah <coughs> excuse me with the cough I'm gonna keep this video quite short but I'm just gonna Maybe just give you a few suggestions of how to cope, beat, to, how to cope with those January blues, how to beat those January blues. So, um, uh, yeah, things like um, nice foods, like comfort foods, but sort of healthy comfort foods. So anything that's kind of got, you know, good sort of healthy qualities, fatty acids, all of that kind of stuff like nuts and seeds and oily fish and all of that kind of thing all really really good for um mood and things like that um trying to kind of keep keep healthy trying to um you know take take lots of fruit have lots of fruit i can't speak today sorry guys <laughs> have lots of fruit and veg as much as we probably don't want to but anything if we're putting good stuff in our body then we're going to feel better if we're going to put if we're going to put loads of crap in our body <coughs> we're going to feel crap um, exercising and sleeping, get, getting a good sleep routine always makes you feel better. It's probably quite hard if you've been like, you know, had a couple of weeks off work, getting back into your sleep routine of getting up early for work or college or whatever. It's going to be a bit of a, a challenge for some, but getting a good sleep is really, really, really important. Having that um, time to uh, relax as well. Um, and exercising, I mean, I've started to do a little bit bit of walking in the evenings because I've, I'm getting a bit sort of restless in the evening and just going for a walk around the block bit of fresh air just takes me five minutes but it's just a nice little distraction doesn't always work but uh, sometimes it does that's the laptop um, and yeah it doesn't have to and socializing trying to see people spend time with people um, you know don't, don't have to spend loads of money again but you know see people pop over for a cup of tea Make sure you're not on your own. Make sure you try try not to feel try not to be isolated. If you are feeling isolated or anything, or really lonely, or really depressed in any way, there's support information in the um, space. <laughs> I was so poorly. There's uh, yeah, information is in the description for anyone that needs a bit of extra support. But yeah, I really hope that you um, we all get through this month okay. Um, you know, we're still here at the end of it. Um, I'm planning on staying in bed for most of the day today. I've got, I'm going to do a bit of vlogging, uploading um, 31 Days of Mental Health. I hope you're checking that out, guys. Um, day 7 today, so if you haven't caught any of them, then uh, please, please check them out because, um, yeah, I think they, they seem to be coming. Oh, Gemma. <laughs> they seem to be coming out quite well. So, anyway, I'm going to let you all go now. Thank you for... Um, uh, being part of the community, um, best of luck battling your January blues, and uh, I will see you next time. Take care.